All right, so I got some of the rear components for the rear drivetrain. So there's a couple of carrier bearings that go on either side of the axle there. Here's the axle just with the brake rotor. Seems like it should be fine. If not, you know, it's pretty standard spacing for those bolts. The kit for uh, the rear axle does come with a rear sprocket, but it's like a 520 sprocket. The a lot of these motors, electric motors, they use a 428 chain sprocket, so I had to find a 428 rear chain sprocket with the 80 millimeter spacing. So we'll see if this one works. We'll probably order a smaller one, but from what I can tell, this is probably going to be big enough. So we'll give it a go. So here we have it mounted up, the sprocket, and I just have to get fancier bolts and things, but I just had what I used what I had lying around. As you can see, I think it'll be easy to mount up a bracket for the caliper for this rear rotor. And then I'm just gonna have to start making a motor mount to get this motor lined up with this sprocket. Not looking forward to that. Another trip to the steel yard. So I'm gonna start creating the kind of bushing to attach this trailing rear axle assembly to the front part of the cart. So I just need to weld this up and I'll just kind of do something like this uh, and I'll probably do some further brackets to the sides just to give it some force. Although this isn't going to be a primary loading because I'll have the shock up here that will be a little bit stronger uh, pushing against the cart.
All right, so I'm building out this uh, little bracket for the brake rotor. Um, probably gonna have to build out a little cross member here just to brace it a little bit more, just so I don't have this one contact point. But it seemed to turn out well. I can get it in and out. I was gonna put it down here, but then I wouldn't have been able to get the rotor out without disassembling pretty much everything. So this should work pretty well. Alrighty, so I got this brace in for this uh, brake mount. I got a cross member here. Uh, I've attached these rear pivot arms or bushings uh, for the pivot point. Um, really kind of getting close on this rear. Still I'm going to have to figure out the rear suspension coming off the back here. I still don't know what I'm going to do or where I'm going to attach it to the back of the front section, but uh, once I get this mostly figured out, we'll kind of attach it and get a better idea of where I need to mount it. Also, once I get the shocks in. So I got this cut out, kind of the rough shape. I'm going to apply the circular part of the motor here. I'm going to have to cut out of this so that it can kind of just slide right in. This is kind of a rough measurement of that. I'm just going to outline it and then cut it out with the bandsaw, or at least try to. So, got most of the motor mount done. I just need to make a cross piece here that will bolt down to the cart. I got that cut out. I'm going to just do some slots, probably four slots, so I can tension the chain appropriately. So, working on these this motor mount that I'm going to weld on the bottom here. I uh, just need to make some slotted holes so that I can tension the chain just by pushing the whole motor forward. Not ideal. I mean, it would be nice to have a kind of radial hinge system, but without a plasma cutter or table, that makes it a little bit more difficult. So this will be a little bit easier for now. You know, I didn't do it the best way, but, uh, 
you know, I was drilling holes and essentially filing it down. So it'll work. Not pretty. Definitely janky. Well, this has probably been my least favorite part to make. Uh, doing slots by hand is a pain, but I'll be able to get this welded to this mount now. And, you know, the mount is, feels like the most work, so uh, it'll be nice to have this pretty much done. Alrighty, so here's the motor mount from good old cardboard cutting. So I just need to get this welded up, just get stronger, and I can start working on adding it to that rear component of the frame. So currently trying to mock up placement for the motor mount. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it for now, just to get close. But I think a lot of it's gonna have to be done once I have the cross member in for the motor mount to rest upon. But this will probably be the rough spot. <laughs> 